Hi everybody. It is the tutorial. Um, lots of stuff to talk about today. This is my, of course, weekly video vloggy thingy. Um, welcome. Hi there. Mm. Um, well, I guess the first thing would be the Twitter report. Yay. Um, 403 followers. Yes. Yay. Um, yesterday I bumped up over 400. That is awesome. Um, next up, uh, well, I'm at 403 now, so next up, 404. Okay, next up, 500. Then, 1 million followers. Um, okay, let's just work on 500 next. Um, the new followers who pushed me over the 400 mark um, would be Alessandra, uh, Insane Zaid, who writes a webcomic, uh, the Midmorning Owl, who I believe is an owl, I think, uh, and Rogue Chick. I think she's a WoW player. So, welcome. Thanks, everyone. You have made the furry orange monster very happy. Yes, very happy monster. Um, and speaking of thank yous, I want to personally thank Fallon and everyone who worked so hard to pump on the Ravenwood Ball together this past weekend. Uh, it was really a fun time. I mean, really amazing. I had such a good time. Um, I hung out with uh, the Kevin Battleblood and a few people at the pre-party together. This um, That was already completely huge. Uh, before the official start, even, like hours before the official start, it was already completely packed in Ravenwood. Um, and then the party itself, which is like a virtual sea of peoples um, all throughout Ravenwood. I mean, you could not really see. Everybody all blurred together. It was um, I've never seen anything like it. It was amazing. Um, but even though you could barely see, the party was still a ton of fun because there were great games and costumes and I got to meet so many peoples. Um, I think I added like 20 or 25 people to my friends list. I mean, the would you be my friend thing just kept popping up and I'm like, sure, okay, I'll be your friend and uh, clicking yes. So that, that is really awesome. Um, and all the, the side parties, that was a really great idea, I have to say. I love the idea of the satellite parties. Um, because, yes, it was packed, it was fun, but it was completely packed in the Ravenwood. And, you know, early on, a lot of people could not get into the Ravenwood, because, at least not Vampire Realm 1. Um, so, the satellite parties gave everybody a chance to participate. Um, and some of the satellite parties, you know, they weren't nearly as crowded, so you could move around more and talk more, and, um, you know, some great PvP matches in everybody's... Um, Massive Fantasy Palace and um, uh, Sultan's Palace and everything, so uh, it, it was a great time. It was a lot of fun and really wonderful. Outside of Ravenwood Ball, um, I have gotten Destiny up to level 17 now. Uh, my goal is to get her to level 20 before the next Destiny Project Report. Um, and I'll probably just do Destiny Project Reports at specific milestone levels, like, you know, 25, 30, or maybe the levels where I get the new big spells... Um, or also I'll start kind of sounding pretty similar now that I'm, you know, almost level 20. Uh, the, the experiment is really interesting already. It's very interesting and I'm having a lot of fun with it. So, um, I hope everybody else is enjoying it too, because it's very interesting to be in the middle of Krakatopia and taking on these great tombs, um, with like my starter deck and, you know, nine spells and a starter wand. It's pretty interesting. Digby is level 48 and on the trail of his next spell, um, which is Fire Dragon, I think. Um, that's the big 48 spell, I believe. And I cannot wait. Um, I have to go and defeat fire enemies in all the previous worlds to get the spell, which is a cool game mechanic. I'm actually kind of excited about that. That's really neat. Uh, so yeah, I'm very excited for this one, and I'll make sure I get it all on camera so I can share my excitement with everyone. Because um, it's, it's just going to be fun. I really like that. Something else me has been thinking about, and this kind of goes back to the Ravenwood Ball in some ways, um, I just wanted to say that it is so great being a part of this wonderful Wizard 101 community. Um, we seem to have a really wonderful, smart, and caring community who loves to share their love and passion for this wonderful and, and awesome game, and I really appreciate that. Um, from 
the amazing pet gnome project to homework in a graveyard to myth spent youth and of course uh ravenwood radio and um uh, friendly necromancer who's one of my favorites and awesome sorcerer witch warrior 101 life of fire um God, there's so many uh to name you know there are too many to name really and every single one i because i read a lot of these now um i spend a lot of time actually reading uh various community sites and blogs and stuff um they all have their own unique voice and style and i feel really fortunate to be part of such a wonderful and cool and supportive and creative community um so thank you to all of the community and the bloggers and the fan sites out there because it is just a really wonderful place to be and finally um there's something i'm working on um it's still hush hush top secret uh it might take me a few more weeks to get it to a point where i can really share it but i'm really excited about it and i'm hoping i can at least have a sneak peek ready soon um, I've never really tried this before. Well, not in this blog anyway. Um, so I want to make very sure it's ready before I go announcing anything. But I really think people will enjoy it. Uh, at least I hope so. Um, uh, I've got many plans for this summer uh, for DittoMonster.com. So, you know, stick around because I think it's going to be a lot of fun. So that is it for my weekly video blog you can eat today. Um, so play safe and... I'll see you in the spiral. Plox. All right, Carl. Kill it. Okay.